Hey everybody, welcome back. As of the time I'm recording this video, I'm sitting at 498 subscribers. As a way to celebrate the upcoming milestone of 500 subs, I'm going to be answering one of Call of Duty's most enduring questions. If you've played OG Modern Warfare 2, you've probably noticed that when you hover over the FMJ attachment, which says increased bullet penetration, the damage value in the chart over here increases by a little bit. This has led people to believe that FMJ grants more damage to enemies all the time, and not just when you utilize penetration, such as shooting through walls or shooting through multiple targets at a time. So today, I'm going to be testing once and for all if that's true. I've put together several classes with their FMJ equivalents, and we're going to be using some close analysis target practice to do our testing. The game setup is as follows. First of all, to make it easier to get information, I've doubled max player health. It's going to allow us to see the small differences that FMJ versus not FMJ can provide. If there's no difference when there's double health for FMJ, then you're never going to see it when there's neutral health. Number two, health regeneration is none, meaning that we can take our time with these kills and be sure that my opponent is not regaining health. Number three, we've disabled perks, so no stopping power for this video. Anyways, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the lab. So here we are in the lab. We have Yo-Yo Subdog helping me out. Shout out to Yo-Yo Subdog. Our class is this M4 with no FMJ, and we're going to be counting how many bullets it takes to kill him to the lower torso, which has a no multiplier. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shots for the kill to the lower torso, no FMJ. Let's go ahead and run it back. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Seven shots, no FMJ, gets me the kill. Now we're going to aim a little bit lower to the shin and see what that does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, kill. Now before we put on FMJ, we're going to make sure that it's working properly. And to do that, we're going to go for some penetration kills starting here. This is without FMJ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 rounds. Okay, let's lap on FMJ. Okay, now we have on FMJ with the fall camo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 shots, okay? 11 to 24, FMJ is working as intended. Okay, let's see how FMJ does against a target not behind a wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now for the shin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No increased damage. Now our testing is not quite complete. We can try to throw on some different kinds of weapons. Okay, so here we have on the USP base. One, two, Three, four, five. Five shot kill. Okay, now we have the USP with FMJ. One, two, three, four, five. Five shot kill. Next, we have on a weapon that shoots a lot faster with lower damage. Vector without FMJ. This should really help us because it only does 25 base damage. That's eight shots right there. If you count the tally marks in the bottom right, you can tell. It's hard to tell, but you can. Eight shots. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that makes sense because according to the spreadsheets that I have linked in the description, the vector does do 25 base damage. And since we doubled the target health to 200, 200 divided by eight equals 25. It all adds up. Okay, so now we have on the Vector FMJ. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No difference. How about something like the G18? This is the G18 base, no FMJ. That's eight shots. Let's run it back. Eight shots again. Okay, let's swap to the G18 with FMJ. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight. No difference. We could do this all day. Okay, so now we have on the Wa 2000. This should be doing 70 damage, meaning 210 total for three shots. One, two, three. Look like that. Now we have on the Wa 2000 FMJ. One, two, three. It's the same. Okay, let's get the big guns out. Here we have on the RPT base. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Five shots to kill. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Five shots to kill. Okay, now we have on the RPD with FMJ. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's do a shotgun. We're gonna move up a little bit here just to make sure all of our pellets land. This is a striker base. One, two, three. Test it again. One, two, three. Okay, now we got the striker with FMJ. One, two, three. As you can see, regardless of what kind of weapon we use, FMJ is not increasing our total bullet damage. And that's because that's not how it's designed. When you're coding something, it's a series of yeses and noes depending on the conditions. FMJ only gets the yes condition when it goes through some sort of material or person. There is no instance in which FMJ is increasing your bullet damage until it makes contact with a surface. Okay, so to close this video out, we wanted to do a 1v1 on Rust, where the condition is first player to get a kill wins, and it has to be a bullet penetration kill with the intervention. Now, Yo-Yo Subdog doesn't have FMJ and his intervention unlocked yet, so we're gonna kill him a couple of times until he gets copycat. Our health is on minuscule, and I think that's copycat acquired. Yo-Yo Subdog has copied my class. Okay, let's do a countdown. First to get a kill, five, four, three, two, one, go. Now, neither of us have on Ninja. The class set up as sleight of hand with lightweight and steady aim. Lightweight should help us get around faster and also aim faster for sprinting. We have to get a bolt penetration kill. Oh, come on now. Oh, okay, that was quick. We like those. GG. Thanks so much to Yo-Yo Subdog for helping with this video. I hope that you're now thoroughly convinced about the properties of FMJ. I know I am, but I'm happy to have gotten this video out of the way. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!